Hello guys, Knowledge Capsule here again and because today we want to quickly look at Federal University of Technology OERI FUTU Admission Procedure. Alright, and of course uh, before we begin, do not forget to like this video. Like in the video will make other students easily find this video and of course uh, uh, get access to this information that will be vital to their admission. And of course, uh, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to drop comments and do not forget to share this video to your friends and loved ones. Alright, so uh, it is expedient to know that before now, Federal University of Technology Futo writes for CTME exam, but for a while they have not, okay, they have stopped writing for a while, alright, so, but of course, uh, so that you do not put all of your eggs in one basket, okay, if you want to also get the past question for Futo, they are available, simply what message the phone number that is shown on your screen right now, alright, to get their past question and start preparing, so, so that it can be armed to the teeth, okay, but of course, like I said, they have not written for a while. All right, so that is that for that. Now, the screening process. Uh, the screening will be based on verified JAMS scores, okay, and WIEC, GCE, NECO, or NAPTEP result uploaded on the JAM CAPS. Okay, you know what a CAPS is Central Admission Processing System. CAPS, Central Admission Processing System for JAM. Okay, so that's what we call JAM CAPS. So you must ensure you have uploaded your results. Your O level result, either WIEC, your NECO, GC, or NAPTEP, okay, online. Then, of course, important things to take note of. Number one, ensure your details on JAM CAPS matches the Positemi application portal, all right? So, some of you will be using different names, okay? You know the middle name here. Yeah. yeah, you go and use middle name, okay? So, please ensure there are no inconsistencies in your details. Then, number two, use a valid phone number and email address. From your jam you're supposed to have a phone number dedicated to you and an email address that you have created for your jam exam all right then also ensure you upload your your result on jam caps upload your result on jam time it is very 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 important it is very 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 necessary in fact the importance cannot be overemphasized okay ensure you upload your all level result on jam caps now, also, only candidates who successfully submit applications online will be considered, all right? So, if you do not submit your, your application online, all right, you will not be considered for admission. Now, for direct entry candidates, ensure academic transcripts, okay? Reach the registrar, Federal University of Technology, Oweri, all right? So, please ensure that what your transcript, in fact, once you know that you want to uh, apply for FUTO, go and start getting your, go and start making provision for your transcript, all right, as a direct entry candidate. Not for students who wrote UTNU or not for JAM students, okay, for direct entry candidates, okay, those who with national diploma or Nigeria certificate in, in, uh, in education, all right. So now, failure to submit transcript will result in disqualification. Now, let us see uh, some of the eligibilities to study at FUTO. For FUTO, you must choose them as first choice. FUTO does not accept second choice, okay? So if you chose FUTO before as first choice, so that second choice, you can go to any JAM Civic Center or any JAM office and change them to first choice so that you'll be considered for admission. That is the first one. Number two, you must have a minimum score of 150 in the UTME for you to be considered for admission at all. That means that if you score below 150, forget about FUTO, go and change your course or change your, sorry, change your institution to another school. Okay, FUTO has set a minimum score of 150. Candidates who did not initially choose FUTO but scored at least 150 can also apply by changing their first choice institution to FUTO on the JAM caps. Okay, so for example, let's say you did not choose FUTO at all before in your JAM form at all, you can also change to FUTO. All right, it is also what allowed. Please know that not all courses have a minimum score of 150. All right, this does not mean that once I score 150, I will get my course. No, it does not mean that. It just means that you will be considered. All right, but it's not a guarantee. Some courses have a higher minimum cutoff mark. For example, let us see some courses that have a cutoff mark of 170. So for 170 minimum cutoff mark, it means that the minimum score you must get is 170 for you to be considered. All right. So some of these courses are. Some of the courses in the School of Information and Communication Technology, okay? These ones have a cutoff of 170. Information Technology, Computer Science, Software Engineering, Cyber Security Science. All of these need a minimum cutoff of 170. Also, in the School of Health Technology, uh, Prosthetics and Autotics Technology, Public Health Technology, Optometry, Radiography have a minimum cutoff of 170. Also, in the School of Electrical Systems and Engineering Technology, 
telecommunication engineering, computer engineering, electronic engineering, electrical engineering, mechatronic engineering, all need a minimum cutoff of 170. Also in the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology, Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Petroleum Engineering also need a minimum cutoff of 170. School of Biological Sciences, Microbiologist needs a minimum cutoff of 170. School of Environmental Sciences needs, uh, uh, like for example, Architecture needs a minimum cutoff of 170. School of Physical Sciences, uh, for example, Science Laboratory Technology, Okay, School of uh, uh, sorry, Science Laboratory Technology needs a minimum cutoff of 170. Also, in the School of uh, Basic Medical Science, Human Physiology needs a minimum cutoff of 170. Now, minimum jam score of 200. Okay, for the College of Medicine and Surgery, you need a minimum of 200 for you to be considered. So that means if you applied to study medicine and surgery, you not score up to 200. Go and change your institution. Okay, or go and change your course. To a lesser one all right that is the implication now let's talk quickly see how to calculate your aggregate score for admission all right this part is very very important you must know how to calculate your aggregate score for admission using your jam and your o level grades okay so let us go to the board see how we do this and then we'll come back to conclude what the class all right see you soon all right guys welcome to the board and of course i want to quickly see how we can calculate our aggregate for Federal University of Technology Owere Futo. Okay, so basically, Futo uses uh, uh, your JAM score, okay, or your JAM what results, as well as your O level to calculate its own aggregate. Okay, different schools have their own different format, and that is why it is important or expedient for us to talk about that of Futo today. All right, so first of all, let us begin with the O level. All right, so for the O level, we already know that, of course, that what uh, that our JAM. Exam is over 400. This is the total possible score you can get for your jump exam. All right, so let us talk about the O level aspect. Okay, so now for photo, it's tricky. Okay, so there are those who have their results in two sittings, and then there are those who have their results in what? In one sitting. In one sitting means you cleared all your paper at once. You are not combining NECO and WAEC. Okay, you are not combining uh, two WAEC results. All right. Okay, so you clear your result once you're using one result, you're using WAEC. Now WAEC are right, now WAEC are pass. Okay, that is one sitting. Okay, or oh, you want to combine your WAEC. I do not pass English in WAEC, but I pass it in my NECO. I want to combine. Okay, that is two sittings. All right, so this is now for two sittings. Okay, let's just calculate the one for all for two sittings. So now for the old level grades, okay, if you have A1 and you have a two sittings, Okay, result is what is two sitting. A1 is what is 95 points. Okay, B2 is what? Uh, is 85 points. B3 is 75 points. Okay, then we now have C4, which is what? 65 points. Then we have C5, okay, which is what? 55 points. Then we have C6, which is what? 45 what point, okay? So this is how we calculate what? For two sittings result, okay. If you have your result in two sittings, all right, this is how your grade would be. But if you have your result in one sitting, the difference is what a bonus of five points each. Okay, if you have your result in two sittings, a one would be what 100, b2 would be what 90, b3 will be what 80. Uh, I wanted to say B4. Okay, so C4 will be what now? 70. C5 will be 60. And then 6C will be what? 50. Okay, so if you have your result in two sittings, this is how what you grade your O level result. If you have your result in one sitting, this is how you grade your O level result. I hope that is very, very clear. All right, so now let us use the result of the one of what of two sittings, for example. All right, so what you do is you add what your score. Okay, what your, your cumulative what score for your five relevant subjects? Okay, you add them and then you multiply it by 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Okay, you multiply what by what by 0 0.1. Okay, let's quickly see. Let's say Mr. Akpangolo, my favorite guy, Mr. Akpangolo. Okay, all right. Let's say he, he what he wrote his work result in two sittings. All right, and then he got uh. 
uh, scores grace of what? He, he had A1, okay? He had A1, he had a B3, he had C4, he had C5, and then he had C6, okay? He had one A1, one B3, okay? One C4, one C5, and one C6. Okay, so if you want to calculate it, what is aggregate, and he has what, two sittings, okay? So what to simply do is to what now? Add what? This cost together, all the points together. A1 is 95, then plus... What is B3? B3 is 75 plus uh, C4 is 65. Then plus uh, C5 is what? 55. C6 is what? Is 45. So what you simply do is to add them together. So let us use, let me quickly use my calculator here. So we have 95 plus 75 plus 65 plus 55 plus 45. Okay, plus uh, 45. Okay, so that gives us what? Gives us 335, all right? So what do you now do after getting what this score? What you simply do is to multiply by 0 0.1. Multiply this result by 0 0.1. Okay, if you do 0 0.1, you are going to have what now? 33.5, okay? So this will be your aggregate for the O-level side or aspects, all right? So if your result is in one sitting also, do the same thing. Okay, do the same thing, then multiply by what? By 0 0.1. All together, let's say this result, if, if this result was in one sitting, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have 100, then plus uh, uh, B3 is 80, plus uh, uh, what's our C4 there is 70, what's our C5 there is what? 60, then plus what? 50. Let us add together. Okay, this is 180, 250. Okay, uh, 250. Uh, 300, 360, so just 360, then times 0 0.1. What I'm going to have? I'm going to have 36, all right? So this is the difference, all right? So that's why it's expedient that, it, in fact, you have advantage, rather, if your result is in one sitting, if your result is in one sitting, okay? So you can see the difference between 3.5 and 36, okay? It can give you an edge. It can give you an edge. Now, that's for the O-level. Now, when it comes to the jam, all right, what you simply do is to multiply whatever you got in your jam. Multiply whatever you got in your jam by 0 0.15, all right? So let's say Mr. Apangolo scored 300 in his jam. Okay, what you simply do is to multiply this result 300 times 0 0.15. So your O-level result, you multiply by 0 0.1, but for what? For your, what's it called? For your jump results, okay, or your UTM results, you multiply by 0 0.15, okay? So let's do that. I want to have uh, 300 times 0 0.15. That will give us 45. So this is for 45. So your aggregate now will be the results you got for what? For your, how was it called? For your O-level together with what? The one you get for, got for, for your jump. So your total aggregate, total aggregate, Will be what 45 plus the for uh for O level got what at 3.5 at 3.5 for two sittings. Okay, so you add that result together, you're going to have 45 plus at 3.5. That will give us 78.5. All right, I will together. So that is how you calculate what your aggregate for Federal University of Technology or All right, so once you got, get this for this call, what you simply do, compare with the departmental cut of math that has been released. If you are above it, you are safe. If, you are, if, you, if it's the same with the cut of math, you are safe. Okay? You can never be below it by God's grace. All right? So <laughs> just do well to what? make sure you have a good jump score and have what? A good O-level result. And photo will be a thing of the past for you. Okay? You will slide through. You enter what? Uh, into your school. Graduate. Make your mark. Graduate, all right, and go and make us proud, all right. So let us go back to the class and let us round up, all right. Welcome back. I'm sure by now you already know how to what calculate your what your O level grades, okay. So sorry, your aggregate score using your jam result and your O level grades, okay. And of course, what it means if you if you have this result in one sitting or in two sittings, okay. So thank you for watching. All right, if you have any question, please drop them in the comment section. And of course, do not forget to like, do not forget to share, do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can also get access to what other information. See you soon.